Hello and welcome along to another new video from another new exclusive Iceland range with me Daniel. I hope you're looking forward to this one because I am. I've had to wait a little while for this particular product which I wanted to try from the range to come in in stock. But after our last one trying the Chiquitos range new to Iceland, we are now moving on to Cathedral City. Now this is an interesting one for me because I'm not a massive cheese fan. I'll have it on pizzas, I'll have it on pasta and whatever else but... I'm not a big fan. I wouldn't just eat it on its own. So that's why this one's going to be important for me because I've waited for a specific product that I feel I've got the best chance of succeeding at. And I'm hoping it's going to live up to the expectation. So if you're looking forward to that, please do put a thumbs up on it. Subscribe down below for regular content from Cody's Kitchen. But we come back today for Cathedral City and particularly one of my favourite cuisines, pizza. We have got a Cathedral City cheese and ham pizza now the one thing that interested me out of this this isn't just your ordinary pizza with cathedral city cheese on this has got no tomato sauce now for me i love tomato this isn't a problem but for other members of my household this might be a solution so this is topped with cathedral city mature cheddar cheese sauce extra mature cheddar cheese and mozzarella cheese and smoked ham now i've had to get it out of the box so it would fit in the freezer because it is a quite big box, certainly bigger than a pizza anyway. In terms of ingredients, we've got a cheddar cheese sauce that's 18%. We've got Cathedral City Mature Cheddar Cheese, of course, and then 9% ham. Now, my question was, how much is 9% ham going to translate as on the pizza? And the answer, getting out of the box, is not a lot. I mean, that's a pretty pathetic amount of ham, isn't it? It's not a huge amount of cheese. If I go close up, there's a bit of the sauce, but... There's plenty of bits that are fairly bare on the cheese front, so I'm a little bit concerned having opened that because I thought this was going to be quite loaded with topping. I don't really know why it's not a tomato one unless it's to show off the cheese sauce too, but we're going to give this a fair go because everything else suggests this should be very nice. The issue is when we come to nutrition, it's not particularly nice on that front. Half the pizza, nearly 500 calories, 472, plenty of fat, tons of carbs obviously, loads of protein, fibre, and nearly a day salt in the whole pizza. Five grams out of six. It is, though, incredibly thin. So that cheese has got to be doing 90% of the work calorie-wise. Because look how thin it is. It's basically like a pancake. Ultra thin by pizza standards. There's not much more I can say. I'm disappointed by the lack of topping, both cheese and ham, to be honest. But I do think this has got a good chance of being nice. I love a crispy pizza. I'm going to do it for the recommended time. And hopefully it's going to be golden brown and tasty. We'll be back in a moment to taste it. I was tempted to go for a couple of other things in the range. I waited long enough for the pizza. They didn't have the flatbread that I would have had with it. So we're going to get this heated up. What are the cooking instructions? Uh, 10 minutes directly in the oven from frozen. I've already warmed it half the way with my hand. I found 200. So we'll be back in about 10 minutes. Right then. We have got our pizza cooked and out the oven. First observation. Didn't smell hugely cheesy coming out the pack. It didn't look hugely cheesy either. The sauce wasn't particularly evenly distributed, which we'll talk about in a moment because it has led to some problems. It smells very cheesy now, and it smells like Cathedral City, and I guess that's what we're looking for. We're looking for the distinct, does this taste like Cathedral City cheese? Because every pizza virtually has got cheese on it. We want to know, has this got the unique Cathedral City taste? The first observations, though, have to come on appearance because can you tell which side didn't have any of the topping on and any of the sauce? It's this side here. So I distributed the ham as evenly as possible to try and make it fair. But there was a corner here with virtually no cheese sauce on. And we've got one bit in the middle here where it's absolutely caked on. And that means the base on that bit is quite soggy, but the rest of it is then quite crispy. So it's not the most even one. But it's cooked quite nicely. The edge has gone lovely and crispy. And although it smells a bit cheesy for my liking, I'm hoping it's going to be pretty tasty. So let's get the plate down. Let's get a nice slice up. Not the stringiest of cheese or anything like that, but it looks quite good. I'm going for one of the least cheesy slices first, and then we'll switch to the opposite at the end. Let's give it a go from the middle and the crust. Do you know what? The first thing I'm going to say, I know it's all about the Cathedral City cheese. That smoked ham is unbelievable. Really nice. I wish there was more of it. However, it does have to be said, 
If you're a cheese fan, you're going to love it. The cheese sauce, I can't really taste, to be honest. It just tastes like a bit of Cathedral City cheese and ham on toast. So I don't really get the cheese sauce. Why this? If this pizza had a tomato base with Cathedral City cheese and oak smoked ham, it would be incredible. So I don't get why they've gone away from the normal pizza route to show off a cheese sauce that you can barely taste. It just tastes like the cheddar on top of a pizza base with some lovely ham. Let's try a plain bit, see if we can get the flavour without it. Lovely crunch on the base. So I got that bit and you could taste the sauce. There wasn't any barely bits of cheese on there and there certainly wasn't any ham. It's got the texture, but it's not particularly strong. The cheese sauce is really weak. I think that's a good thing because with the cheese and the mozzarella on top, the cheddar and the mozzarella, sorry, I think that would be a bit too strong. But that's the only bit that doesn't make sense to me. Why couldn't it be a normal pizza but with Cathedral City cheese? What I'm going to do is I'm going to try the really cheesy bit here. You can see the base is drooping there where that one's all soggy. There's no give on the top of that. But it's absolutely caked in cheese. So let's try this bit by comparison. I mean, it's nice. If you like cheese on toast or Cathedral City cheese generally, cheese lovers will love this pizza. The one bit I don't get is it doesn't have that unique pizza flavour because it hasn't got the tomato base. And the creamy cheese sauce isn't great. That's the one bit that lets it down. So it is basically like having cheese and ham on toast, which I'm sure you could make for less using Cathedral City cheese, a slice of toast and ham. So that's the only bit where I have a question is where has this product got a marketplace? Because you could make the equivalent for a lot less and make it last over a lot more meals. Whereas this is a one-trick pony, and it was quite expensive. The Cathedral City range, not quite as much as the Chiquitos one, but there was a bit of price to it. So I got this on a promotional offer for £3. I've got to say, it's nice. I'll happily have it for my lunch, and it's a good job it's nice, because I had no backup. But I don't know that it's got a great marketplace, and I'd love to see them just do a tomato-based pizza with Cathedral City cheese. Because if we're making a homemade one here, we'll make a tomato base, and normally it's Cathedral City cheese that's in the house, because that's what the rest of the household likes. So I could see that being a lovely pizza if it was treated like a pizza. But just showing off the cheese and not really making it a classic pizza, I don't know. It takes away its market value. But really decent, a thoroughly nice meal. If you're a cheese lover, I'd recommend you try it. But it's not that different to cheese and ham on toast. That's all I'm saying. The ham... For me, is the star of the show. If you've tried it, let me know in the comments what you think. Do you agree with me? Should it be a bit more traditional pizza? Or are you happy that you've got double cheese with ham on top? If you enjoyed the video, please do put a thumbs up on it. Subscribe down below for regular content from Cody's Kitchen. Back with something a little bit different next week, which I've already recorded and is good to go. In the meantime, in the eye above, you can check out the gaming channel for daily FM22 videos. There's also the live streams over on Twitch and the football podcast too. But thank you as always for your incredible support. It is appreciated. And I'll see you next time for more on Cody's Kitchen.